Egyptian temples were not only places of worship, they were also places of learning where a few people could go to study reading, writing, and mathematics. There is no doubt that the Egyptian civilization was successful because it produced educated people. But also, and nearly as important, Egypt produced a lot of paper upon which they could write. Egyptians made paper from the plant called papyrus, seen here, that grew thickly along the riverbanks. Papermakers would cut stalks of papyrus and strip off the thick green outer layer of the stems to get to the soft center inside. The center was then cut into long strips and laid on a heavy slab, first in one direction and then in the other. Next, a second heavy slab was placed on top so that with pressure, the strips joined together to form a single piece of paper. The ancient Egyptians wrote on paper and carved in stone in their own special kind of writing called hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphic writing was very complicated because it had 700 symbols used to represent different sounds as well as an alphabet of 24 letters. For example, this was the hieroglyphic letter for T, this for N, and this for B. When it came to writing down numbers, things were much simpler. Numbers from 1 to 9 were made using short lines, so that one line meant 1, two lines meant 2, and so forth. But because they had no zero, they had to use different symbols for the numbers 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million. So in ancient Egypt, the number 46 would have been written like this, using four tens and six ones. Because they learned to work with numbers, the ancient Egyptians were able to develop certain kinds of mathematics. In fact, over 45 centuries ago, Mathematics were used in drawing up the plans for this huge pyramid because to build it correctly, more than two million blocks of heavy stone had to be perfectly cut and then arranged in a very accurate way.